guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have my April Ipsy Glam Bag. So I already did my Ipsy OS unboxing, which is more of a sampling of the things that you can get from Ipsy. They do send me that one. This one I pay for and it's supposed to be geared toward me, but at least I get to pick out some of the items, you know, and for a while I couldn't do that, so I'm glad that I can do that again. Okay, so we have our springy little bag here, and the items that I got were, the first one is from the Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is a tubing mascara. I feel like a lot of tubing mascaras don't blatantly say, hi, I'm a tubing mascara, this is what I do, this is how you wash me off. So if you got this and you're confused by that at all, that is why, this is, this is a tubing mascara, which basically means that it coats your lashes and will extend them, but the best way to apply it is slowly and to like slowly go out your lashes and just keep extending and a couple of coats will give you beautiful long lush lashes and then to take it off all you need is some warm water i like to do it with like a like a cloth or something like a makeup eraser get it nice and warm and then just hold it on my eyes for a couple of seconds and then gently wipe down and it all just comes right off it's really easy to do in the shower too so the wand on this is very skinny. It's a little bit curved. You can see like a little banana, but it's very skinny. Uh, I actually really like this. At first I was like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not getting enough product on my lashes. But like I said, slow and do it a couple of times and you do get a nice buildup. So I'm wearing it today. It doesn't smudge throughout the day. It is uh, waterproof with cold water. <laughs> but not warm water. So even like in the summertime, if you go swimming, if the water is warm, this stuff might start coming off and it looks like a little spider legs on your cheeks. So, um, you know, just something to be aware of. But if you do struggle with your mascara smudging, this might be a good option for you. Any sort of tubing mascara. I really like this one. It's a pretty heavy, sturdy packaging. It seems very nice. And is, you know, so far so good with the actual mascara. I'm liking it. The next item that I got was this little moisturizer. This is from Dr. Botanicals, Lemon Superfood All-in-One Rescue Butter. This has the most wonderful lemon verbena, just like a sweet lemon meringue kind of a pie kind of a pie kind of a smell and it just oh i love i love that lemony scent it just it's fresh and sweet and i love it the texture of this is very creamy it's a bit on the oily side so i generally tend to use this more at night but you could use it throughout the day just don't like put it on and then try to open jars or doors with it because your hands are going to be a little bit slippery but it does have a really lovely lovely texture and a great smell they do say that you can use this on your face but the scent is pretty strong so i just have been sticking to using it on my hands you could use it all over your body but you know for me, my hands are good. Okay, and then the three items that I chose, the first one is from Akar, Akar? It's a Tibetan word that means, oh gosh, uh, revitalize, re forget it. Anyway, um, the brand itself is all based on really like natural Tibetan things and these berries and things. This is a lip butter that's made with lots of different oils and beeswax and it's just the texture of it it feels like a lip oil it's very slippery very oily feeling and so i i generally have been using this again another night product because i will put it on before i go to sleep and when i wake up it is still on my lips hydrating my lips however if i use it throughout the day you know just from like drinking out of my water bottle eating food whatever it does wear off pretty quickly and it's just so hydrating on my lips i really love this a lot more than i thought i would and I'm, I'm really happy to have this. Also, this is like $30 for this thing of lip stuff, which is really expensive. But based on what I've seen on their website and the different products that they have, I would love it if Ipsy offered more products from this brand because I would be excited to try them. Another lip product, everything has soap on it, is from Girlactic, and this is a tinted lip balm. It does not have a very strong tint. I wonder if you can even see it. No, it's, it just comes off as clear. The texture of this is jelly-like, they say on the website, and very much so. The first time I used it, I absolutely smushed it into my lips, and I was like, ah, gross, I can't use this. So do not put it up as high as you think you need it. I mean, just barely a little bit. 
and then you might even just dab it onto your lips. Although, you know, I've gotten to the point now where I'm like, okay, this is, this is about the pressure and I can put it on. The feel of it is very plush and I don't know, it's that jelly texture that makes it not a lip balm, not a lip oil. It's this very soft, but still hydrating, and it stays on my lips for a decent amount of time. But it, I really feel like it just adds this cushiony layer on my lips that makes them look very hydrated and feel like they both have a protective layer and like they are getting moisturized as I wear it. I'm putting this on obsessively. I love this stuff. I'm really, really happy with this. I love it. Okay, and then the last item that I chose, this is a shampoo bar, and I don't, I don't know why I even chose this. I have yet to find a shampoo bar that does not make my hair feel like straw. So I wash my hair with this, and yeah, it just, it feels super gross, and then the bar itself gets smushy in my shower. I don't have a safe place for it to set, so I just like leave it outside of the shower, but then it, I don't, it was just kind of a pain. And yeah, it left my hair feeling dry and like it had a film on it and just like a straw mess. And then I put in like a leave-in conditioner, which helped. So my hair, you know, wasn't awful or anything, but I just, I don't know. But the company itself, they do have the shampoo bars, but they also have regular shampoo and a bottle and conditioner and lots of other products. And they have a thing where when you buy something from them, they also, you know, donate a soap to people in need, which I think is awesome. I love companies that try to, you know, give back to the world. So company is great and maybe I would like their other products. And this is the kind of thing that like I'm gonna use on my son's hair because it's short and he doesn't care if it feels like straw, right? <laughs> and then I do have one extra item that I bought. I can't remember if it was from the add-ons or just like from the Ipsy deals, but it's this little pack of Color Club nail polishes, a little foursome. This is what's on my nails. So you've got like this lovely blue shade a more greeny blue shade, and then these two neon colors, one that's like orange and one that's kind of like a corally color. And I love these. I love Color Club nail polishes. I've been using them for centuries now, and they always have really great quality. Um, they are different though. Like this green one is a really thin, goes on super smoothly. This one is very thick and goes on a little more chunky. All of these got two co coats plus a top and bottom coat. And you know, I've been working construction in my backyard and painting and things, so my nails are a little bit messed up. But I would say that it's lasting a pretty good long while. And I love the colors. I think these are perfect for spring and summer. They're just bright and fun. And I'm very happy to have this little set. <laughs> So anyway, that is my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of April. Let me know what you guys got in your bags, boxes, whatever. What'd you think of everything? Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this bag. I got some awesome products. Anyway, all of the information will be in the description box. You can check it out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.